Hi, I'm Allie Reynolds with Allie's Organics and we're in my home greenhouse and I want to show you how to grow tomatoes in the greenhouse. Now typically we wouldn't be planting so close and adding another tomato in here because we want a little bit more room because of the humidity they need a little bit more air. But I'm going to go ahead and plant them right here next to the cucumbers, just kind of a temporary to show you. The first thing that I want to do is amend the soil with compost. I'm not afraid of compost and I want to add plenty of compost to this spot where I'm going to be planting them. And I'm just going to spread this out and work it in pretty good into the soil where I'm going to be planting the tomato. I'm going to plant it right on the edge here because I'm going to actually trellis it up to the rafters here. I don't need any kind of uh, stake or a trellis in here other than the string is going to be its, its basic trellis. I'm going to plant it just the same way as I do outside. I'm going to go ahead and dig the hole and I'm going to add some all-purpose fertilizer to the hole. You can see how great the soil is because we've got all kinds of worms and living organisms into the soil. I'm going to leave them in there. I'm going to work a little bit of that all-purpose fertilizer in there. And I'm also going to add a little bit of mycorrhiza into the soil. That's about a half of a teaspoon. Work that in there. I don't like to have direct contact with the fertilizer or the mycorrhiza onto the roots of the tomato. I'm just going to take this tomato and I want him actually on the edge here. And I'm going to cover him up. He's got plenty of compost to keep him happy here. Some things that you might want to be prepared to have in the greenhouse is something like this three-in-one. It's a fungicide, miticide, insecticide because you do encounter problems in a greenhouse sometimes where you have to spray them. You're going to want to spray in the evening time rather than the middle of the day even though you are in the greenhouse because it still is pretty intense. So if you do have any problems, go ahead and spray it because you, you do have the potential of having problems in an enclosed environment also. You want to keep the soil moist in here and just, just like outside, you don't want it to dry out, you don't want it to get too wet. So just keep an even moisture. Now I can take this guy and wrap some string around the bottom and kind of tie it to the bottom and just simply wrap it around and then tie it straight up to the rafter. And as this grows, I'll just simply kind of take that bush and twine it around that string that we've got and it'll just continue to climb up. I will remove any of the suckers bec that grow between a leaf and the main stem. This is a sucker here because I don't want it getting too big because of where I'm planting it. It's better actually if you've got a pair of scissors. Remove all of those and you'll have to do this about every 10 days to every two weeks. Then you're just going to continue to let it grow up and then you're going to have tomatoes just like this in your greenhouse.